The $16 million COVID safe app has come under fire for its effectiveness and now the Auditor General could examine whether it's been worth the money. But despite the critics, the federal government says the app will stay. He exposed sports rorts, the overpriced Western Sydney land deal and now the Auditor General might have the COVID safe app in his sights. The Morrison government has run a multi-million dollar dud app scheme. A review could be launched to look at how economic and effective the $16 million app has been after the Prime Minister gave it the big sell. Australians can go back to the lifestyle and the many things that they previously were able to do. More than 7 million people have downloaded it. It's identified 17 contacts, all in New South Wales. But the gold standard state is starting to feel a disconnect. It uh, has obviously not worked as well as we had hoped. For a contact to be identified, a user needs to be within one and a half metres of someone else who has the app for 15 minutes. That can be changed if the health advice changes, but at this stage, it won't. The government agency responsible for COVID safe says QR codes could be built into it, but that would go against the privacy provisions because then, essentially, the government could have a way of knowing where you are and when. New South Wales, Queensland and the ACT have businesses using QR code apps. South Australia and the recently reopened Victoria are working towards them. The key to opening up is knowing how traces can track you down and despite its critics, COVID safe will stay. COVID safe is one part of the public health response.